Hello, everybody. Pioneers. Pioneers are the people who have always put in themselves at the risk of ridicule. They challenge the current narratives and they're transforming the way how people are thinking about the things that exist. It is because of the pioneers our species advances. And it is because of their belief they are able to lead the humanity forward. Fourteen years ago, a pioneer developed the concept of a currency that is not issued by the state or any other centralized authority. Four years later, his colleague decided that it can be elevated with the idea of the programmable uh, logic that can be introduced on top of this currency, leading the way for DeFi and NFTs to exist. And then four years after this, another pioneer elevated the technology to the level that it is able to power the open web. At Aurora, we have always have been on the forefront for the near ecosystem innovation. And back in March 2021, we've launched the first trustless and permissionless bridge in the world that by now has never been hacked and is an icon of the stability and security. Later, the same spring, we've launched Aurora Engine, the first time in the world when a fully pledged virtual machine is deployed on the blockchain. This is a marvelous piece of technology that fascinates people up until now. Later, we switched our uh, vision into making sure that user experience is good. We've introduced the first discovery layer for the applications and easy onboarding with Aurora Plus that was later developed into the Aurora Pass, our, uh, our self-custody wallet that is working with Aurora. This year, we have launched Aurora Cloud, a solution that, it, that powers the interoperable L2 stack with shared decentralized sequencer. No other solution in the world has this. Many people are discussing how to implement this. However, this piece is already working on top of the NEAR protocol. And also, in spring this year, we've introduced some intriguing token economy updates, and some of them are yet to be developed. However, they are aligning the tokens inside, in general, not only Aurora token, but, uh, uh, but in general, any token inside of the NEAR ecosystem with the NEAR token itself. But it's not all about the history. The question is, what are we doing now? At Aurora, we believe that the current innovation that NEAR need to uh, undertake is the onboarding of many, many businesses on top of the NEAR blockchain. Just because there are not a lot of Web3 businesses or native Web3 businesses, and out there there are tons of Web2 traditional businesses, and in case you're able to teach them the value of the blockchain, speak the language that they understand, listen to their problems, provide the solutions, and share with them the success, the whole Web3 vertical is able to advance and get to this mythical place of the mass adoption. And I'm happy to announce uh, sorry, it's not, not this slide. But there are two specific verticals where the blockchain actually makes quite a lot of sense for the ordinary businesses. And the first of them is the fintech vertical, where tokenization of standard assets is able to bring quite a lot of benefits for the capital efficiency. It introduces the affordability through fractionalization of assets in case the investor was not able to buy the full asset. Now he's able to buy a fraction of an asset through the token that is represented on the blockchain. It unlocks liquidity and introduces the liquid markets. It allows for the assets to, uh, to get better price discovery because they are becoming liquid. 
it makes a, uh, it makes the compliance procedures pretty straightforward because all of the transactions are structured and recorded on the public ledger and then anyone is able to analyze the behavior. Because of this, because of this actually, um, the, the myth that the blockchain is the place for fraudsters and drug dealers is no longer the case. Blockchain is the worst possible place for these people to operate. And another vertical that is super important and that can uh, innovate through the blockchain technology is the user engagement. Anything from the loyalty programs to gaming uh, is capable of reusing the ideas of the blockchain because it brings to the end users ownership and control of their assets. And because of this, they are becoming much more excited. They love to collect things, and because of this, the feeling of the ownership is a great thing to engage users more. And another thing is obviously the distribution of the incentives and rewards. And we have seen this particular application or this particular vertical working extremely great with Kaichin and Sweat on Nier. I'm happy to announce today the launch of the Aurora Cloud console. This is a management hub for the businesses to monitor and manage their own blockchain infrastructure. This is an all-in-one solution that allows the business to have their blockchain infrastructure on their fingertips. With Aurora Cloud Console, businesses are able to log in and launch and monitor their customizable change, uh, chains that are powered by the public or private Aurora silos. And these chains are deployed as a copies of Aurora on the near blockchain or on Calimero private shards. The tool introduces the flexibility for the gas fees. The businesses are able to create the fee models for their users that depend not only on the actual transactions, and they go way beyond the simple Ethereum um, uh, uh, auction model that we all used to. Within the transaction fees, businesses are able to Im implement uh, percentages of the value of the transfer, uh, and they are also able to fully remove the fees for some categories of users. Aurora Cloud Console gives a simple and straightforward way for businesses to use the interchain interoperability in between different Aurora silos and also near native network. And another thing that I'm super excited about and I'm happy to announce that we are launching a marketplace for add-ons to the Aurora Cloud itself. We already have the add-ons that are developed by our, us. Uh, in this marketplace, the solutions that are ensuring KYC and KYB uh, procedures for the users who are connecting to these chains. Uh, we have on-ramps that are integrated. We are working on another exciting solution that is called Aurora Shield. This is a solution that allows to analyze the transactions on the fly from the users, detect anomalies, and block the execution of these transactions. This is a super important solution for businesses because many businesses out there are afraid of their users making a mistake in an address or being hacked with a simple $5 wrench attack. Aurora Shield is going to detect the situation when a user is trying to transfer all of his assets suddenly to an unknown place or to a place that looks suspicious. And on the level of the RPC, Aurora Shield blocks these transactions. Also, in the Aurora Cloud Console, you're able to see the full real-time analytics on how users are interacting with the blockchain, with the smart contracts, um, and with your uh, other parts of the blockchain infrastructure. Aurora Cloud Console is available on auroracloud.dev. You're able to go there, check the demos, 
And in case you are willing to learn a little bit more about it, you are able to come by the Aurora booth and uh, my team is going to show you all of the different uh, features on the Aurora Cloud Console. And uh, Aurora Cloud Console itself kind of closes the, closes the loop of the innovation on the infrastructure. And for Aurora part, um, mostly everything is done. Now we need to handhold businesses. But that's not the case for the near ecosystem, our older brother. So we are willing to innovate with NIR together to bring even better infrastructure in the NIR protocol. And there are three specific projects that we are working on right now, and I'm happy to announce them today. First is that we are switching NIR to 0x addresses. We are allowing... Thank you. We are allowing native Web3 wallets to connect to the near blockchain and execute transactions as if the people are working on the ordinary EVM blockchains. The look and feel of near from the standpoint of the user is going to be for the first and the most important interface that they are facing, their wallet, is going to be absolutely the same as on other EVM compatible chains. This works without sacrifice of any usability and developer experience for the developers of the NEAR protocol. There is literally nothing that the developers of NEAR protocol would need to change in their smart contracts or on their front end in order to allow the users of, Met of MetaMask and Coinbase wallet to connect to their applications. This solution is scheduled to be launched in the Q1 2024, so it is not very far from the delivery. Another thing that I'm excited about is the, is make, is the project that is making the near RPC more interactive. And by saying more interactive, I mean reducing the latency of the transaction execution on the near protocol. I'm super excited about this project because it brings all of the Aurora technology that was developed uh, in-house for Aurora chains closer to the near protocol, and it empowers new use cases to be implemented on top of near. Current latency of the transactions on near is end-to-end -end latency is approximately five seconds, and uh, this is far from optimal. However, with this project, we would be able to bring it sub three seconds that will allow use cases like payments to happen directly with the existing infrastructure of, for example, point of sale terminals that have a strict requirement for the transactions to be finalized within less than three seconds. And the third project, the most exciting, is something that is going to be announced by Ilya <laughs> a little bit later. So please do not, um, uh, please come and also listen to this announcement and uh, we are also participating in this project. I would like to end up with uh, this guy, Peter Drucker. He is uh, one of the most important person, uh, most important people who developed the current ideas how to manage organizations. He was hating governments. He was saying that the centralized authorities controlling things in corporations is something that is bad. He was a strong believer in decentralization and simplification of the business uh, processes. He designed the concept of outsourcing. And this guy was telling everybody innovate or die. And I'm happy to report to everybody that Aurora and Near feel very good, very healthy, and leading the way to the whole blockchain industry. Thank you very much.